G'day legends, g'day superstars, Peps here, and I'm here to bring you the round 17 tips for a massive round of AFL football. Hey, everybody's enjoying the content. Thank you very much for joining in every single week. We love rolling out our tips every single week for you, and we know we're going to have a crack of a game kicking off this weekend's games. Friday night, you can't ask for much more. Their last one was an absolute epic, Collingwood, Essendon. Friday, 7.40 p.m. at the home of football, the MCG. You could almost say this is an eight-point game. Whoever wins is pretty much locking themselves in for a final spot. And whoever drops out, well, let's just say finals action might be a little bit of a stretch. You're either going to be packing for September or you're going to be packing for Vegas. And I think the Collingwood Football Club, with the amount of injuries that they've got, can't afford to drop this game. Essendon, you can see it in their hearts. They are so close. They've been brilliant all season. And that is why I'm going with the Essendon Bombers to take out Collingwood by a massive three goals. No more than that. It is going to be so tight. It is not going to be funny. Collingwood, I just think with the injuries that they've got, it's going to be a little bit too hard for them. He caught up with them last week against Gold Coast. I think it's going to catch up with them this week, especially if Dacos doesn't play. That's a massive out. Essendon, yeah, they haven't been too bad. A little bit disappointing last week, but these things happen. Most importantly, though, they are going to get the win on Friday night and keep their chances for some finals action alive. Rightio, let's kick it into Saturday, 1.45 p.m. at Marvell Stadium, North Melbourne, Gold Coast Football Club. Well, North Melbourne, their last few weeks have been pretty good, actually. They went down by a couple against the Doggies last week. That's a really nice market to be standing by because if you think about how they've been going for most of the season, it's been pretty average, but their last month of footy has been really, really good. Got pipped by Melbourne and got pipped by Collingwood. Can they beat the Gold Coast, who travel not that well at all? I don't think they can. I think Gold Coast will be locking this one in as a win. They were sensational against the Pies last week. They were down by a couple with a couple of minutes to go, kicked away, got the win, kept their season 100%. They are running at Gold Coast Stadium. They're coming down to Melbourne to play North Melbourne, and I think this is a game that they're going to break their hoodoo, and they're going to get that win and climb inch by inch closer to AFL finals action for the first time in the club's history. Probably going about three or four goals for this one, but I reckon it might be tied early to Gold Coast to kick away at the back end. Right, yeah, Port versus the Western Bulldogs Saturday. 1.45 p.m. This one is at the Adelaide Oval. This could almost be the game of the weekend. We know how good the doggies are going. And Port had a really good win against St Kilda last week. Can they do it at home? And can they do it against a team that is rampaging at the moment who have got so many forward options and are really starting to settle through that midfield with the Bont, with Trelaw, and their back line doing nice things as well too. I do think, though, the Western Bulldogs have got a lot more to play for. I just don't rate Port at the moment. I know they had a win last week, but they have just been so patchy. I can't trust them. And I have a lot more faith in the Western Bulldogs. And I think their tall forward line, Eugle Hagen, Norton, Darcy, is going to make it really, really difficult. And obviously, they played pretty well down back last week as well, too. I think they're going to be too good for Port Adelaide this weekend. I'm going to make it about four or five goals and the Bond to rack up another three votes and hopefully get his hands on his first Brownlow to go with his premiership in 2016. Rightio, I thought that was going to be a cracker of a game. This one's actually an interesting one as well too. Geelong versus the Hawks. Saturday, 4.25 p.m. at GMHBA Stadium. Geelong at home have been pretty hard over the course of their lifetime, but teams have been able to get them recently this year. Hawthorne, we know how good they've been playing. They've won their last five. Are they a chance to take on the Cats? Well, I thought with having no Tom Hawkins, that would be a bit of an issue for the Geelong Football Club. But last week, didn't they have a range of goal kickers that just opened it up for them? And I think that's where they're going to get Hawthorne. I think Hawthorne can go for them with quite a bit of the day. But I just think GMHBA, the unique uh, dimensions of that ground, very thin wings, they're going to play that game to an absolute T. And I reckon they're going to win this one by about four or five goals. And actually put a bit of a dampener on that uh, Hawthorne run that they've had over the last six to seven weeks. So Geelong, to take that one out, Hawthorne, they just have to gather their troops for the last seven games. They've only got eight games left in the season for every single team. They're going to drop this one, but they are still a massive chance to play finals if they keep playing that awesome footy that they've been delivering. Right here, GWS versus Crown, 7.35 p.m. Talk about two teams that sort of flipped the script over the course of the year. GWS were brilliant in the first six to seven weeks of the season and have completely fallen in a heap since. And Carlton, they've just been going on nicely week after week and just been building, building, and they're building some great teamwork, 
chemistry. Fords are doing well. Back line are killing it. And then midfield is one to die for against GWS, who are really losing touch, not with top four, but also the top eight. They're currently out at the moment. And this is a game I think that they will drop. I think Carlton will be too strong again for a GWS team that is just lacking so much at the moment. They can't score. Their midfield's getting beaten. And with no Sam Taylor down back, they're getting scored against. And when you've got Charlie Kernow and Harry Mackay leading that forward charge for the Blues, I think it's going to be way too strong for them. And I think this one they could kick away for about a six or seven goal win against the Giants and potentially put another nail in the 2024 season coffin. Rightio, Fremantle versus Richmond, Saturday, 8, 10 p.m. local time here in Victoria at Optus Stadium. Richmond, they have been a little better over the last number of weeks, but if there's been an informed team out of everyone outside of Hawthorne, it has been the Fremantle Dockers. They're now in third position, hopefully going to be locking in a top four spot. And could you imagine they beat Richmond this week, they've got another chance potentially at uh, you know sneaking in to a top two if the results continue to go their way. That's all they can ask for, but they want to get that double chance and they are going to win this one. They're going to do it quite easy. He's going to be about a seven or eight goaler at a minimum. Their forward line is firing. Five had a tagging role last week. Was absolutely brilliant. You've got to think, there's no Pierce and no Cox down there for the Fremantle Dockers. But as we know, the wankers with anchors, they are not sinking. And they are definitely not stopping. They are rowing to success. And they're going to get another major win this weekend. Rightio. Sunday games. Melbourne versus West Coast Eagles. Sunday, 1.10pm at the home of football. The MCG. Melbourne played a completely different style of game last week, kicked eight goals in the second quarter and then kicked three for the remainder of the game. And West Coast were soundly beaten last week. I'm going with the D's this one. They are still in touch, a very, very rare touch, considering the last three seasons they finished in the top four. They're not going to do that in 2024. With so many teams sitting on that 32-point uh, bracket, I think the Melbourne Demons will win this one. They'll start off probably very close for quite a while. I'm really looking forward to seeing Waterman, really looking forward to seeing Harley Reid live, but I think that these got a bit of spunk with their young crew running around last week, and they will make a bit of a difference. And fingers crossed, Jakey Melksham might be playing his first game for the D. So I'm going to go Melbourne. It'll be tight for a couple of quarters, and I think they'll kick away in the back end, flip the script of not being able to score a goal in the last quarter over the last couple of weeks, and they'll win this by about four or five goals uh, and uh, continue their chance for a small, slim margin of playing finals football. Two games to go, and that means St Kilda versus Sydney at Marvel Stadium, 3.20 p.m., Sydney had their second loss for season 2024. St Kilda were really stiff to go down to Port Adelaide last week by two points. I know this is at their home ground. I know they love playing at Marvel St Kilda, but with no Ben King there, I think they're going to find it up very, very difficult to get scoring options. Sydney, we know that was a hiccup last week. Their slow start is what cost them. They won't do that for two weeks in a row. They'll win this one and this one win this one quite convincingly. Six goals, I think they'll go by. And I'm really looking forward to Mr. Papley, Mr. Tommy Papley kicking a bit of a bag because he hasn't actually had one for quite a number of weeks. Rightio, last game of the weekend, and it's actually a nice one to finish on, but the graveyard shift of 4.10 p.m. is actually becoming really nice on a Sunday afternoon. Brisbane versus Adelaide at the Jabatoir. Brisbane stole victory from the jaws of defeat last week against the Ds, and Adelaide, what an absolute cracking win over there last week. Uh, no one saw that coming against GWS. I for sure as hell didn't. Will they be able to do that away from home? I just don't think that they are. I think Brisbane have been way too strong over the last number of weeks, especially at home, getting a bit more spunk. They were really gettable at the start. Now they're getting some synergy across all lines. Uh, if Pippo doesn't get you, Danaher won't. If Danaher doesn't get you, it's Neil. If he doesn't get you, it's Zorko. It's McCluggage. There's just so many options. You get Ashcroft back in. They are really, really dangerous. I think they're going to be way too strong for the Adelaide Crows. Probably six or seven goalers. So we're going to have some big margins this weekend, but I reckon there might be a couple of tight ones that we're going to be excited for. Will there be as many upsets as last week? I don't think so. But the only thing I'll be upset about is if you do not like, subscribe, and ring the bell for our tips every single week here from Tipped Out, because that's our round 17 tips for a massive week of AFL football. Well, there you go. Hopefully your team wins. Join me and J-Dog live on our YouTube page every Monday night, Australian Eastern Standard Time, 8 p.m., we bring you your footy just how you want it. Lace out. There are our tips. Hope your team wins. Thanks for tuning in.